What's up guys? Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about my most complimented fragrances. Um, I'm going to start off the order from most, well, most expected to least expected. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some in here that you probably would not expect to be compliment getters. So starting off with the first one, probably one of the most obvious ones, is going to be Mancera's Intense Cedra Poise. This one on my first wearing pretty much got like three compliments at work um, stopping you why you know beginning of the day what are you wearing type of deal um, but yeah, very surprising I think the fragrance is okay um, I don't think it's it meets I don't think it meets the hype that there is for the fragrance um, but next one is going to be another obvious one it's going to be a clone of angel share and it's going to be amir's fire your desire so with amir's fire your desire um there's a lot of fragrance world or just angel share clones out there fire your desire is my favorite one uh, i've talked about it in another video um, it's also the only one that i've actually gotten compliments on over camera which I still do have and sometimes do wear uh, but I still do prefer reaching for fire your desire so the next one is going to be a two-parter just because it pretty much is the same fragrance uh, one's a clone one's not so this is another obvious one it is going to be Creed Aventus as you can see this is an empty bottle this is actually my second bottle that I've emptied out um, instead of buying, instead of buying a new one, um, after hearing after all the stuff that's going on with Creed and they're not lasting anymore or whatever, I went ahead and got Afnan Supremacy Silver, which is actually out of the ones I've tried the closest one to Creed Aventus, especially this bottle for anybody that cares about the batch numbers. All right, so those are pretty obvious ones. I think it's going to be a little bit obvious until the last few. So the next one's going to be, yep, I'll go ahead and put them together, even though they're kind of set, pretty different. It's going to be Savage, Dior Savage. We all knew this one was coming. Um, and this one, this is, well, in this case, um, I actually had the EDT, went through the EDT. This is the EDP. Um, I believe the EDT might have gotten me more compliments than the EDP, but I do prefer the EDP over the EDT, even though it's not too big of a difference. And a clone of Savage Elixir, which is Enigma Un. This one is another scenario. Walk into the office. What are you wearing? I just tell them it's a clone of the Earth Savage. They don't understand what's going on, but it's a clone. All right. So this is where we get kind of to the ones you probably won't really hear or they won't really tell you about. So next one is a Louis Vuitton clone of Jean Lowe. It's Jean Lowe Immortal. It's a clone of Lamented. Lamented tape. Um, <clears throat> I've smelled the Mentate before on someone actually at the airport. Uh, this gets very close to it, but the Mentate is pretty much a Bulgari Tiger clone. Um, so you get, if you can't find Gene Low Immortal, I would say go ahead and find any of the Bulgari Tiger clones. So Tarathi Blue or, um, what's the other one? Tarathi Blue or Vicio. Um, I actually do have Vicio. They're pretty much the same scent profile. <clears throat> Next one, very polarizing, or it smells at least very polarizing, but it's actually, it may be my most complimented fragrance. Um, <clears throat> it is Jean Lo Ombre, which is a Louis Vuitton clone again for Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad. Um, 
I used to work at the airport, so I would wear it to work, even though it wasn't really a good idea. It's a very strong fragrance. Um, compliments didn't stop. So if I wore the fragrance, I knew I was going to get complimented. If it was by coworkers or if it was by customers, pretty much a guarantee that I was getting compliments. Um, so next one is a clone of Invictus Victory. I actually prefer the clone over the actual fragrance. Um, it's going to be Victorioso Victory. So this fragrance, I don't know why, I don't know what it is about the clone that smells way better to me. It lasts all day. Um, I purchased it, I thought I was going to end up selling it to get the real deal. I smelled the real deal, realistically like the clone better, so I'm just going to stick with the clone. Um, next up is the one I've had probably the second longest after Creed. Um, I would say it's in third place for my complimented fragrances. I'd say number one is Ombre, number two is Aventus, and number three is going to be Creed Viking. So this bottle I've had, it's a 50 mil, and you can see it's pretty much almost done. Um, it goes right behind the three. Normally wear it to work. Let's get this thing to focus. There we go. Um, definitely a longevity. I've gotten more compliments since I've had it for a while. Um, same thing with the Ventus. Ombre, I've actually got this, I actually got it this year. Um, and I would say Ombre definitely has more compliments than the years I've had Aventus and Viking. But the last one is actually going to be another clone. It is going to be, I'll drink it in the fourth most complimented fragrances. Um, I'll put it on the, in the number four spot in that ranking. Um, it's going to be Afnan's Your Highness Green 3. Um, so it's a clone of, of her. I haven't smelled Creed Eau Royale. Um, I've heard it's more of a twist than an exact clone. But this one is definitely a compliment getter. It is definitely a green fragrance. The fragrance does match the bottle. Uh, very elegant green fragrance um, but yeah I'd say those are my most complimented fragrances from the most common ones you hear about to the ones you don't really hear about getting compliments um, but yeah if you have any experience with any of these or if you want to share your thoughts please feel free um, but that's all I got thank you guys